this movement today about gas prices, this just haven't, this haven't just started, you know. We and Moses Sol started this well, at least about 10 years ago. This is not something we knew. We started this gas thing under the previous government because the gas was too high. We had thought it was too high. A taxi operator and an activist, although Albert Catus was known for his convictions, his willingness to speak out for social justice and to stand in solidarity with COLA against that which is believed morally and legally wrong, never would anyone have expected that the 72-year-old would have been gunned down while on the job. Around 7.30 on Thursday night, Cut, as he was affectionately known, was driving on Hickety Street, heading from West Collet Canal towards Dolphin Street, when several shots rang out. He was hit to the head. His vehicle came to a stop inside the drain behind the Rogers Stadium, with the headlights on and engine running. Bernadette Catus Coleman, whom he treated like his daughter, believes he was lured from his Lord's Bank home to his death. They said it was a taxi driver that got killed by Rogers Stadium, and whenever they say taxi driver, my mind go to my uncle. So then I went to Facebook because they put everything on Facebook, and I saw the vehicle. When I saw the vehicle, I didn't really see his vehicle. I saw the headlights was on, so it was like blocking the body. Only saw the car door open, and it was the color of his car. So I said, that looked like his car. So then I called his phone. Normally when I call him, he answer right away. So I called his phone one, two, three, four, seven times, and all calls went to voicemail. Some lady by the name of Carol, I don't know her last name, that lives, that's neighbor to my uncle, because he lives in, in, in Lord's, Lord's Bank. Bank. She's neighbor to him, and she saw him coming down to the city 6.30 in the evening, and that's not something that he does normally. He was coming on 6.30 in the evening, so obviously it seems like he got a phone call for a job. And where the thing happened, my uncle would never go back there that time of night. He's very cautious. He would never go there that time of night. So he actually got a call and they lured him to his death. The family believes that the murder of Mr. Cat was a hit. This theory is supported by the fact that he was not robbed of any of his personal belongings, including his cell phone, wallet with money, or the vehicle. Several reports say that two persons on a motorcycle carried out the crime. Everything was there. So he got shot, they found a sh one um, sh shell in the vehicle. He got shot behind his head, but then there's a hole here also. So. Um, we had to go to the hospital and they had him out there in the vehicle, in the back of the vehicle, and I looked and it was him. And we spoke to the investigating officer there and he says he thinks it's two shots because there's a um, bullet hole on his side and there's a bullet hole on the, the side view mirror on the other side. My uncle was the sweetest person. He was boisterous, he was loud, he, he, don't, he speaks his mind, he speaks as he sees it. He's an activist, he's always like that. I even used to tease him and say, Uncle, I saw you on news up front and personal. I said, you're going to get hurt. I actually tease him like that, not knowing that this day would come, that I have to see my uncle in the back of a truck. When I heard nothing was stolen from him, I, I think it is the conclusion of all of us in the activist community and the family that this was a hit. Where the hit came from, now we're going to search that out. And it just shows that we live in a very violent and lawless society. Catus was killed three days before his 73rd birthday on October 15th. In his 30 plus years as a taxi driver stationed on the perimeter of the Battlefield Park in downtown Albert Street, he was known for his tenaciousness, specifically as it relates to social justice. Our records show Catus speaking out from early 90s. But exactly one week before his murder, Katus joined the Belize leaders for social justice and COLA in a demonstration over high gas prices. BLSJ defines him as a human rights defender. The taxi man never did stand up, but this fight where we did fight with Moses Sol. This is not just now, this is over 10 years ago we did fight this with Moses Sol. These are not new people, I want to learn that. Belize leaders for social justice and other activists, activists believe that this is, can be a message being sent to us and we want to make it very clear that um, we're not going to sit back and allow these things to, to happen. I think that um, we will be formulating a letter and sending it to the United Nations and to the, um, because Mr. Katus was a human rights defender. When they kill an activist, 
it is an indication that they would have killed all those people they represented because we're not representing ourselves. So when they kill an activist, it is to shut up thousands of Belizeans who are feeling oppressed. BLSJ is now offering a $5,000 reward for information leading to the arrest and conviction of the perpetrators. Although the true motive has not been ascertained, today other members of the activism community say they are saddened by the loss and will not be intimidated by cowardly acts of violence against human rights defenders. This really hurts me to the core. I don't take this lightly, his, his murder. Um, Kola don't take this lightly. We condemn it in the strongest and we believe that um, those killers, the, the, all that witness account is saying that there were two men and they rode off on a cycle. Um, there are mixed reports if they were in the vehicle. One shell was found in the vehicle, which means either the shooter was in the vehicle or the gun was placed in the vehicle. I know that he's very vociferous against corruption and the government uh, in ways that government have messed up. And a lot of people might get robbed the wrong way. Politicians have fanatics, have fans and fanatics. And I didn't want to you quickly use this as nothing, no stunt to say it, to be an anti-government thing. As an activist, he was so strong. So I just hope and pray that we haven't lost Mr. Katu because of politics, because of activism, because I know for sure that if, it's, if there was a politician that got killed like that, the whole city and the whole country will be removing up and down, searching every house. And because Mr. Katu is no politician, because he's no rich man, just a regular activist. It's been a while, nobody no get killed in that area there. About five minutes later, Roland Parks come to the house and says sticks. Then kill with Bali. Roland, what you you talk about? Cartoons. No man, no man. And like everybody when me dead at my yard, about over 15 man just gone quiet. Come most of the gentlemen, they know Mr. Cartoons as one of the older activists thing. And they respect him. Dwayne Moody for News 5.